Hi, I'm Bill Black from Spirit River. I'm here to show you how to tie a Black Ghost Marabou. This is a very, very popular streamer. It's been around for a long time. It imitates a fry. Here's one I've tied right here. Um, it's a beautiful little pattern. It's simple, pretty, and it works very well. We sell these Spirit River kits. This tying kit has all the materials to tie this fly along with 24 hooks. The only thing it doesn't have is the thread and what we'd like you to ask you to do is buy this package, follow this video and you'll tie some of the most beautiful flies you've ever seen. So we'll start with a hook in the vise. You want that nice and level and you want it in there good. Okay, I'm going to start with your thread and you always go over the top. We sell, um, we sell the, all the tools to do this as well. We sell kits, tool kits, so you've got all your fly tying tools um, handy. Oops, okay, so what I want to do here is I want to go back here and I want to put on a, a tail. What you do is you take your hackle and you strip it down like this so that your, your ends are all even. You can lay that tail on there. I like to clip this little fat part out. A little short, so I'll let up my tension on my thread and I'll pull it a little bit longer. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to go forward again, go right up here to the front. I'm going to take a bit of this silver tinsel and a bit of this black flex floss. And what I do is I get them close, I, I go ahead and clip that. tie these in and then I run my thread back over the material, the flex floss and the tinsel, all the way back here to the tail. Now I'm going to bring my thread forward again. I'm going to take this flex floss. I'm going to wrap it around one time behind the tinsel. That'll keep it from ever slipping off. You want to try to keep the same tension on this flex loss. It is stretchy. You want to keep the same tension on it and you want to cover this entire hook shank and you want to cover any of that silver tinsel that's showing through. You can see that's what I'm doing here. You try to keep one wrap in front of the other so that there's no lumps and bumps. Go all the way around. Normally I would use, leave a little more room on most flies for the head, but there's really not a lot of head material, so I go ahead and I tie that off. I'll clip the excess. I will take this tinsel and I'll start wrapping it nice and easy. All right, it should, it, it's nice and tight, I mean but um, you want every wrap to be right in front of the next. Okay, so now you have the tail. You have a nice body. You have black under with a, um, a rib, a rib tinsel. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this and we're going to do a throat. This part of the feather is soft. I kind of like to use that, especially for a throat. We're going to tie that in underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip it. I'm going to take one loose wrap and make sure that that's tied down. And there you go. Now you've got a throat. Go back to your marabou and select a nice piece. Actually this piece kind of came out so it looks pretty good. I'll use it. Okay, stroke it back, and you want this to come right back to the end of your tail, just like that. You can also lick your feathers to kind of keep it together. Put it on there, go around, and we'll do that sort of up between your fingers and down. Very common fly tying procedure. And then you start going around here 
and you want to cover up a lot of that fluff that was sticking out of the end, a lot of the excess material off the end of that piece of marabou. And you want to try to keep this a nice bullet shaped head. Just like that. What I'm going to do is whip finish this. I just get my thread right up by it, nip it, and then I'm going to take a drop of head cement or a super glue, put it on there, that cements it all together and it kind of flows back into the materials. It'll actually get underneath here and make sure that throat or collar stays on there. And that is a Black Ghost Marabou. Again, I'm Bill Blatter from Spirit River. Um, I really, really appreciate you watching this. Please support our company and our line of products. Ask for them at any fly shop or place that sells fly tying materials or fishing flies. Thank you very much.